Hi, Floss Tube. It's um, late. It's quarter after nine on a Sunday, so it's been a long, crazy weekend. But I already had this set up, so I wanted to get this done. Um, it's just going to be a little bit more chaotic than normal because I didn't lay out any of my um, stash enhancements, so I'm going to be digging in my bag to get them out. But I have... Um, a bit of progress that I had on my um, model, which obviously I can't show you, but I do have three other projects that I can show. So I'm gonna start with those. Um, and then, not tonight, but hopefully tomorrow, I'll get notes typed up and added to the description box. It's just not happening tonight. Um, so my first project is, um, it's going to be a Biscornu. Oh, I do have the pattern, good. I wasn't sure if I had the picture of the pattern. So this is the pattern that I'm using. And the pattern has four square patterns. And I am using this one and this one. Not for the same Biscornu. The one I'm actually going to show you is this one. This will be another Biscornu. And I think for the bottom, I'm just going to do like the corner motifs. Um, and not the whole thing. I haven't decided yet. But um, I'm saving the chick and the bunny for Biscornus for myself for holiday decorating for Easter. But I needed spring Biscornus for the great Biscornu swap. And I actually have two partners, so I'm doing two. And I'm going to go ahead and show everything because even if they follow me, they won't know which one they're getting. So I'm really excited about these. Um, I actually pulled out fabric from my stash and I don't think I have a tag anywhere I think it's mystery uh mystery even weave but it's a really pretty um pinky lavender it's a little bit darker than it's showing up on camera and there is my start so I'm almost to the halfway point on the top of one which means I need to get my butt in gear um, but these really are not super time consuming. I'll be able to get them done. So there's one. And then I pulled this one out of my collection. It is a um, Sweetheart Tree kit. This is the card. E is for egg. I have another one of these. I'm trying to think. A is for angel. I have A is for angel as well. Um, and then E is for egg. And I pulled this out to start last week. Um, and it's it was really surprisingly like quick. Um, I did some of the specialty stitches and I really enjoyed them. And this is my start. So I have like almost that first full corner done. Um, these are not anything difficult. It's just backstitch. One color used one strand. No. They both use two strands, but it's two different colors. We have this specialty heart. So yeah, that's um I think going to be pretty quick and there's some beads that get sprinkled in there too. So I'm excited for that. I don't know if it'll get done by Easter just because I do need to get to back to my committed stitching. Um but I needed a break, so I had pulled that out. And then the last whip I have to show you is also a new start um, from today, actually. So a while back I showed you a couple of, or a kit that I had gotten from Nitka um, in Russia, and it was an exclusive kit to Nitka um, by Barbara Anna. And this is the tag that was on it. It's the Tree of Magic, and I've seen a couple other floss tubers doing this one. And I had bought one for myself and bought one for Carrie um, and sent it to her. And then I got a message a couple days, well, earlier this week um, from Tina that she had gotten it for her birthday. So we decided to all start it together. And I swapped out the fabric that came in the kit and used something from Stash. And it is a 32 count um, Jobelin. It's the color is May Day, and it's from Seraphim um, Fabrics. 
and it's a, a bluish gray with like kind of almost like a um, like a yellow cast almost like it was tea dyed or something um, it's pretty true to color there so this is my small start from this afternoon and I started in the center at the top um, and it's I think it's gonna stitch up really well I think it's gonna look really good on that fabric so here's the here's the picture so yeah that actually and it was fun working on that one this afternoon so I'm excited to see you know when I can get back to this one I'm um, excited to work on that one so that's what I have for whips and starts I had no finishes um, I think that's uh, this is kind of gonna be a quick in the sense that I don't have a ton of extra to talk about I've got some some haul so some of you might remember I signed up for the Erica Michaels um, all about berries through um, dying to stitch so I got my first kit and the first one is called raspberries so here's my first the first pattern from that club and it comes with everything and it's stitched with uh, Weeks Dye Works Merlot and Baked Apple. Um, these, these were back ordered from um, Silver Needle when I had placed an order for a whole bunch of the Chessie and Me kits. So this is one of the kits that finally came. That was a back-ordered one. And this is the pattern that I got, and it's called Shepherd's Christmas. So when I looked at it on the website, the colors looked a lot brighter, and I really liked it. Um, I'm going to pull up quick. I, I have to look because I really think the picture on the um, website like it almost looked like it had pinks in it and I really fell in love with it and now no, I guess not no, here's a little bit Here's a little bit better of a picture. I, oops. I mean, I don't know. I, I really do like it. But it says, over, over us will shine a star, sending its gleam of hope to the world. So I did pick that one up. And um, so everything that was on back order from the Silver Needle has arrived. Oh, this was a birthday gift from my cousin. She made me a project bag with Baby Yoda. So, and then look at this zipper. It's a rainbow zipper. Super cool. And then it's lined with some yellow polka dots. So now I can use that. This was my floss of the month from Rolanda for March. February still has not arrived. I'm sure it's lost in the mail somewhere and maybe will show up at some point. <laughs> um, but yeah, these are really pretty. This was somebody that I found on like a fabric group. Um, uh, D stash page and it was hand dyed rickrack. It's really big rickrack, but I think this will still work for like <sighs> putting around the edge when I mount something like a, a kind of flat fold style on a board or something. So I got four colors. Um, 
I got that gray, and then there's a deeper purple, kind of a, a blue, and a lighter lavender. I found these, actually Lori found these at Hobby Lobby when we went the other day, and I had to pick up a couple, just these teeny tiny little, it's a little easel, and it has a clip on it. I thought that would be cute for just a really small cross stitch. So I picked up two of them. My gosh, you guys, like I, I can't even keep everything straight. My third installment for the sled club from Annie's Crazy Annie's Stitching came and I love them. I love that Santa and the the house. Very cool. Still haven't stitched any of these and I really should when I need a break between um, commitment stitching because they're quick. The cat's actually laying on the bed. You can kind of see him. Romeo. Oh, there's a handsome boy. There's a handsome boy. <laughs> He's actually being good. And then I found these four quilt patterns. So I picked them up for my stash. There's one. I had to get that. And that's going to be, I think I'm going to do that just with scrappy stuff. Because, I mean, I use buttons all the time. And there's that one. And then along with quilting, I picked up this panel on clearance at work. And it's a Christmas one. And it's long. But I think I'm just going to cut out the center and use it like for a center block in a Christmas quilt. I just, you know, in 12 years. <laughs> Don't know when. Oops, sorry, kitty. You're in the way. And then I picked this up um, on a stash unload. I did not realize it was wrapped. Um, I'm not unwrapping it right now. It's a cardinal. And it's a it's a full kit. But isn't he cute? So pick that up. And some cat scissors. And you know I love this company. And they had cats. So I picked that up as well. And I will stitch that totally. Calls for watercolors and wildflowers, metallic, crinic. Yeah. Yeah, we're going to do that one. Um, I got a bunch of stuff on um, from uh, Cindy Swirly, uh, her buy, sell um, page. So she had... Sorry for the crinkling. She had a bunch of limited edition gentle arts that she was um, getting rid of. And she must have had like old, old, old stock, and um, so I picked up two of each of a bunch of them. So, and she actually did write the name of the colors on these. So this is Mermaid Blues, and this is Emerald Isle. And these are like he more heavily variegated than a lot of their floss. So I'm really kind of liking it. Like how, look at that one. And, oh, this one is awesome. Look at this one. Isn't that gorgeous? I need to find a you know a monochrome pattern to do this. It, this one was um, I think it was Victorian attic. Um, this is tapestry. 
This is Rose Brocade. This is Moss. Aren't those beautiful? What's this one? Um, Bahama. Um, sorry. Okay. Into the second bag. This is Chai. Nice neutral and um, kelp. Um, I can't read this one. Can't read the color on that, the name on that one. This is Marsh. Look at that variegation. Isn't that cool? Um, hops and barley. Looks like these might have been two different dye lots, but that's okay. I mean, they're they're more heavily variegated. Um, and, you know, I don't need to use it for a project that needs all, uh, both of them. This is Olive Drab. And this is uh, Peat Bog. So, very cool. I was very excited about all of those. You better not get excited about it, kitty cat. And then, um, with Cindy's group, I also picked up two of these, the tail end weavers, because I have misplaced mine. Now I have two. Also from Cindy's group, I picked up a piece of, um, this is a fat quarter, it is Crystal Nocturne from, hand, uh, from um, Picture This Plus. And this is really cool. This is a fabric flare piece. This is called Wizard's Night. It's a fat quarter. I got 32 count linen. Oh my god, isn't that awesome? So I'm just kind of waiting because I'm wondering if, you know, a Bella Filipina may get designed that fits on this perfect. Because some of them are kind of leaning that way, like that could have worked. Picked up some wonky cuts. This is um, Pink Daisies, and I got a 28 count even weave. Got 28 count even angel blush, very faint pink. 28 Job Linen Sage. 28, or no, 32 count even weave and waxing moon. And actually, I don't think I looked at this one yet. This is a fabric flare piece. So that's a, a nice neutral. Um, I should be able to fit a couple of ornaments on there, is my thinking. Um, 32 count Lugana even weave hand dyed Rocky Mountain Purple. It's a pink. It's very similar actually to the one that I'm using for the Biscornus. 32 count linen soft pink with white dots. And then I got natural with white dots. And then this one's pretty cool. This is a 32 count linen in ice forming opal. And this is a small cut, but I can definitely get a couple of ornaments on there. Isn't that cool? I like it. There's a little hint of shimmer in there. You can kind of see it. Now the cat is laying on the plastic bag. What are you doing, bud? And then the other thing that I got from Cindy this month was their wonky box thought I'd give it a try. Um, I don't know if I will often, but this month's was Amethyst, and it was February's box. Um, 
so everything pretty much everything in here was purple um make sure i got everything out of here because i'm not gonna keep this bag there you go kitty you can have that too and that so it came with some floss oops one of the dmc variegated and then just a dmc um nope this is an anchor sorry an anchor purple and then a purple needle minder a little felt needle minder and a needle purple krynic this is a number four i think yep number four purple beads can you see them in there And then this really cool, one of the acrylic um, ornament blanks. Um, and then, you know, you can stitch your own little pattern in there um, for an Easter egg. Got this keychain or scissor fob, whatever you want to use it for. Ruler. Some more purpley beads. Okay, don't chew on the plastic, dum-dum. A pattern um, holder. A couple pieces of fabric. Here's one of them. Here's another one. A couple ornaments can fit on that. And this one's really cool. I like that. That. And then it had some fun little stickers and this really cool box. So you see how the buttons aren't moving in there? Oops, sorry for shaking the, the, the table. Okay, so this box has like this layer of almost like saran wrap, I guess. And it has it in the bottom too. So when you put things in there and close it, those layers hold it together and they don't move around. It's kind of a cool find. And little, you know, boo-boo brush. Um, and a glasses lens wipe. So yeah, that was um, really, a, I was pleasantly surprised with the um, selection and everything that was in the, um, wonky box for the month so that was fun like you said probably not going to do it all the time but I saw when they posted them and had a few left so I grabbed an even weave one just to try it out and it was pretty cool um, I printed out some patterns today but I can't show you because it looks like I didn't print out any of the cover photos so all I would be showing you is patterns but I did go to Staples and print out some patterns it's been a while so it looks like I have a ton of haul but I, I do think I've slowed down unless you ask my husband and then I don't think he agrees but whatever I'd like to say I don't have very much more. <sighs> we'll see. We shall see. Picked this up at work. I love Tiny Modernist, and I was going to collect all of these, but I think I'm going to hold off and not buy any more until there is one that I really want. And then I got an awesome thank you, a little postcard, a thank you for um, the Beatrix Potter calendar that I had done a giveaway for. So Lisa, thank you for your um, postcard. Got some fun buttons. Look at those, have some like iridescent in there. Love it. I got this from Hobby Lobby. So I think I want to hang something underneath someday, right? Someday. Guys, I don't want to pick this up when I'm done. 
who's going to come do it for me? Okay, so the buttons and some of this other stuff was part of a um, birthday gift from my stitchy wife, Carrie. So she also got me a bunch of Cosmo floss. Um, what is this? Oh, this is a pair of scissors that I purchased. Aren't those gorgeous? So, yeah. Very nice. Here's with my kitty cat scissors. Pick this up on a stash unload. Um, it's not a full kit. It is leftovers from it already being stitched. But it's a sweetheart tree and it's a poinsettia. So I had to get it had to and then I found two more um, Sekus and Company hearts that I don't have um, I think actually Cheryl tagged me in these on a stash unload and I picked them up this one is T and the other is Deck the Halls heart so another Christmassy one so I'm really excited about those And oh, here's more from Carrie. Some fabric for finishing. And two um, from the heart patterns. And then the really cool, making sure this is, yeah, that's everything. So the really cool that she, part that she did. Look at this, this corner she stitched for me. Isn't that cute? And she did. It's on an opal fabric. I don't know if you can see it. And it's got beads around the edge. I'm super excited. It's so small and pretty. And I'm going to put it right there with all my other Buscornus that have been um, gifts and swaps and stuff. Let's see. What else is in here? Oh, I went to... Um, with my friend Lori on Friday to the Meyer Gardens for the Butterfly House and we always we stopped in the gift shop and I picked these up um you know they're just little like pocket charms um and they say things on the back one says thinking of you the other says friends forever but they're perfect for needle minders like perfect size and everything so I'm gonna use them for that I don't know what this is Must have been stash and load I picked these up, I think. This isn't that bad. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know what this is. It's also partly due to how long ago it was that I filmed a floss tube as to why I can't remember. Um, but this was a piece of... Oh, yeah, this was scraps that I picked up on stash and load. This is an 8.5 by 8.5 opal... Um, it says 28 count, but it's totally not. It's 18 count. Um, but isn't that pretty with the leaves? So do something for fall on that. And then, or no, that is marked 18 count. What's the other? Oh, this is the eight and a half opal. Um, no, it's not. I don't know what this is, but it's pretty. And it's got a, it's another one with a little bit of shimmer. It's a fabric flare, I can tell. But I really like that. And this was 32 count Belfast, um, 15 by 18. And you know, it was just a good piece to have in stash because it's a neutral. And because I picked it up on stash unload. That can go in the trash. Kitties, what are you doing? Oh hi kitty. Revy's on the bed now. Oh, this was fun. Um, this was a Valentine gift for me from um, Valentine's? Yeah. Yeah, this was for Valentine's Day. Um, it came in a package with um, 
a little exchange like pen pal gift swap thing for Ethan and Ellery from uh, Linda's granddaughter and Linda sent me some goodies so I got some owl stickers that are three-dimensional and some flamingo stickers and two little oops two little kits you know that you can do um, a monogram and at first I was like, why did she get me M and A? Duh, all of the patterns are in there. It was just the example on the outside. But yeah, so that's really cool. Okay, so the reason she got me these is because one is the first half of the alphabet and the other is the second half of the alphabet. So I have all of the alphabet. That makes sense now. I got my issue of just cross stitch. And oh, there goes my stuff. This was a pretty good one. This was a, a, a cute issue. Um this had another autumn lean stitchery, the gnomes. Okay, seriously, who's who's picking this up tonight? Because I'm not, I'm not picking this up. Um, world of cross stitching. This has got to be coming close to being expired. I don't know when my subscription is up on this, but I did not renew it. And this was another stash and load. This is Shepherd's Bush, and this is Peace on Earth. I don't know that any of you would actually remember, but a long time ago I did another ornament like this by Shepherd's Bush and it was Joy to the World. So I picked up Peace on Earth so that I would have kind of a set that I can hang on the tree. And then I picked up this kit, Bent Creek Leaves Zipper Kit. And that turkey is just adorable. And it was a full kit, so I gotta stitch that up. someday. Okay. Um, the bag is empty, but I have a couple other things up here. Oh, this was another pair of scissors. It's a cat. It's a rainbow cat. So I had to get those for the scissor collection. And I ordered the stitch and this, um, one that said I want to pet every cat in the world um, these are from Needle Attractions Kim Gehrig and um, she threw in that cute Minnie Mouse super cute I have to sneeze <coughs> oh excuse me and then this is Maple's Minders and more these out carefully. I got this otter and this one from um, Schitt's Creek. It says, ew, David. And then we have uh, Supernatural, of course. And the cat with the pizza. And then... Dude, cats, really? Um, this, <laughs> way back from the beginning of lockdown last year, I'm never going to financially recover from this. Um, which is the stitching life. You're never going to recover from all of the money you spend on stash, right? And then we have... That one is a gift, so I need to take this one off, mail this one out, but this is mine. <laughs> I'm a unicorn. Put this on here. And last but not least, Christmas Baby Yoda, and a dino. So, 
Ooh. That is everything. Yes, it is. So I'm not going to do it this round because I am so exhausted that I can't even think to run it right now. But watch for these in my next video. I will do these as a giveaway. It's two more of the... Um, the um embroidery mysteries um by amanda lee um i have done a giveaway i actually already gave away this book because i got two copies of it so i'm giving away the other one because i've read them now um and i have so many books that i do not read the same book twice i don't have time for that because there's too much i want to read so i'm gonna give these away so i'm gonna stick these back in the bag next video we'll give them away or we'll start a giveaway next video so there's that oh look what's in the bottom of my bag I still have um, a baby Yoda needle minder that was won by either Bridget Shamrock or Bar Barb Palmer I think Bridget claimed hers so Barb maybe yours is still unclaimed so we'll get that yep yep Yep, yep. All right. That's it. I'm going to pretend to put some of this away. But I'm not going to get very far. I can tell you that right now. So, this was a quick video. Like I said, I've got those stitching commitments to get back to. And once they're done, I'm going to town on my own stitching. Um, yeah, but I was happy to get a few new starts in there, a couple, you know, one that is for exchange, but still something different and fun to work on. So that was fun. Um, and I think the swap needs to be mailed by April 10th, maybe. And it's the 21st. I probably should work on that tonight. <laughs> probably should get that done, eh? So... I hope you guys are staying well. Um, I will give you more of a life update in the next video as well. I've just had a lot of stuff going on and I don't feel like going into it now. Um, but yeah, I'll, I'll catch it. I'll catch you guys up next time. I'll probably have some more information next time anyway. Um, but I hope everybody's staying healthy. If you are planning on getting the COVID vaccine, I hope you're able to get in for an appointment and get that done. Um, I know a lot of states have really opened things up more now, so it should be more accessible. Um, and take care of yourself if you do. Um, I was one of those people that got the second shot and spent the whole next day feeling like shit. <laughs> um, my body was doing what it was supposed to do, but I wish it could have done it without the fever and body aches. Um, but by the second day, I was back to pretty much normal, so it, it really wasn't too bad. Um... It's, it, I think it was, I think it was worth it. So, um, kids are doing well. They'll be going back to school soon, right after spring break. Um, and I think the second week after spring break, they're supposed to go back to full time. So we'll see what happens. Um, but in the meantime, we're still hanging on with the virtual and working from home. So, um, I will catch up with you guys soon. And thank you, thank you, thank you for stopping by and catching up with me. Bye.